good YouTube. It's been a really long time. Um, I'm back because I have some really like big updates for me anyway, as far as my truck. Um, people out there considering getting a go fast camper, especially with the Jeep Gladiator, thought you might want to check this out. Or if you're just interested in the GFCs anyway, whether you're rocking a taco or a Dodge Ram or whatever. So I thought it might be cool to check out. So let's take a look. So before like, <clears throat> so before going over like real details about the camper and my current setup, which is not permanent, um, I just wanted to address the question because I got a few on Instagram. Why did I sell my iCamper SkyCamp Mini? And uh, the answer is pretty simple. I just wanted some more room. Um, I love the iCamper lineup. It was super slick. It looked cool on the truck. If you've been here before, you know I was running a Yakima uh, Outpost HD bed rack. It was a mid-height rack, so the tent was like even with the cab. And it was just a cool look. Um, at the end of the day though, it's a really expensive tent that you just sleep in. It's just like, it's like having a $4,000 backpacking tent, basically in my opinion. Um, I wanted to be able to stand up and move stuff around and change. And you know, if it's raining, and not have to worry about hanging out under a tarp, maybe get inside of a shelter uh, that I didn't have to pop up separate outside of the rig, you know? So um, pretty simple. So I sold my camper to a dude that was really stoked to get with a, with a pretty dope taco build. And so, uh, he's having a rad time with that, so that's all good. Um, but yeah, the GFC was just the way to go for me. I'm really stoked on how it looks. I'm really stoked on the versatility. And, uh, you know, I'm here to kind of shake this thing down for the next couple of weeks. I wasn't able to camp right after I got it. I got really sick, and I'm just I'm just now getting better. You might be able to hear that in my voice, but um, yeah, let's take a look at this thing. So right now I have uh, the canopy all opened up. Um, I'm getting ready to make some dinner here, so I figured I'd go over kind of my camp setup. But yeah, I just, the ability to, to be able to hop in here, stand up inside the platform, get stuff organized, to me it was just, it was totally worth the upgrade. Um, so as far as storage right now, I'm running two Rome Adventure Co. boxes, one there in the bed that kind of lives there. This one moves around a little bit. The one on the bed is tools. Uh, recovery gear, tarps, nylon cords, stuff like that. This is more of a camping bin where I just got, you know, what's in here? I got hiking poles, I got wet wipes, I got some propane, some propane hoses. I have a water filter in there, a bunch of stuff. Um, camp kitchen, when I'm alone, I'll just run this little jet boil half gen and I'll run everything storage wise out of this Yeti loadout go box. So my stove was here. I'm running this uh, Destination Kitchen 24 I got from GSI Outdoors. I actually picked this up from REI. There's, I'm not gonna open this right now because it's a pain to do with one hand. But uh, spatula, knives, utensils, cutting board, you name it. I got some spices, I got um, fuel for coffee. And then I got kind of my coffee set up in here. I have an AeroPress and I'll make some coffee in the morning and I can show you guys how that goes. But um, yeah, so, the GFC is just all the room to stand up in there and, and change and move the bed platform around I thought was really valuable. Um, I added this rigged ultra swing with the ultra table, with the cutting board. Again, when I'm alone, I'll just cook with this. It's perfect for me. Sometimes I won't even bring food to cook. I'll just warm something up. But uh, when I'm with people, I have a, uh, a Camp Chef griddle. I'll lay some B-roll of that right now. I'll take with me when we have more people. But um, yeah, for now, I'm just I'm just gonna kind of chill out. Somebody had built a primitive firing here. Looks freaking awful, and just a scar of the year, so I tried to clean up the best I could. But I'm gonna run a fire here in a little bit. Got my water and stuff over there, so I'm gonna chill and make dinner and hang out. So hang out with me. All right, what's good guys? I finally made it up into the camper. It's about 7.45. Um, I sat out by the fire for a little bit, but it's starting to cool down and um, I've had a long day. So 
I got up here, uh, I moved the whole floor all around so I could stand up, got changed, which is really nice. Like, um, I had two rooftop tents. I had a Skycam 2.0, the four person, and then I had the Mini. Those are both dope for what they are. Again, I talked about that earlier, but this is just a game changer as far as just being comfortable and having some, uh, some flexibility on how you want to just enjoy your camp setup. So, uh, with that being said, thanks for hanging out. Um, I'm going to watch some movies on the iPad that I downloaded today. Adam Sandler, what's good? And then uh, coffee in the morning. Get out of here. So, hang out.